I was coming back down from my anxiety about writing women and and I, I was saying to myself I want them to be less aggressive because Eden you know will fight you and Harry will fight you physically you know and I wanted I want to write someone who's a little bit softer and uh, I was pregnant when I wrote Gathering Dark so I, I was in thinking about what kind of mother I wanted to be and the you have sort of that separation anxiety about this baby that you haven't really had. You're paying attention to women who are separated from their baby because I guess you're kind of thinking to yourself, right now my child is inside me. I know exactly where he or she is at all times and she's going to be taken away from inside me. Uh, so, so there was a bit of that. And... Um, Jessica, Jessica uh, always thought to herself that the LAPD was her family and it was exactly where she belonged and the disappointment, I suppose, uh, when she, she, she went looking for a family and they, they were not there for her and, and they turned on her. And that's maybe how I felt about being in the Navy. I thought I was going to fit in because everyone fits in, right? And then you get there and you go, actually, no, <laughs> not everyone fits in here. Um, and and, and they, the LAPD appear to be such a big, wonderful family that it would be fun to be a part of because they have all these principles and they have all these beliefs and you get there you have your uniform and 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 then you go actually no not everyone's invited in but some people are shoved back out uh so the disappointment in that for her um i was trying to explore mm. and it was a, it was an incredibly hard book to write that one because i think my that was the hardest book i had read written to that point because my brain every time i tried to fantasize about because i since I was a kid, I'd go to, I'd go to sleep at night thinking, what am I going to write tomorrow so that I'm ready? When I get my opportunity, you know, when I'm 12 years old and I run home from school before I do all my chores, I got computer time, so I've got to be ready, you know, ready to write. And, you know, when I was 18 and working in clubs, I've got a shift. I've got an hour break on my shift, so I've got to be ready um and so i that's how i would go to sleep but when i was pregnant i couldn't i would lie down and i would try to access that world and it's like a door slammed shut and i didn't i didn't know what i was going to write next so i would go to this computer screen and i'm like uh, you know i got nothing and 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 yeah so i um i had a lot of trouble with it and I, I think I dumped something like 30,000 words of that novel. Yeah, I wrote it and I just went, no, nah, this is garbage. I've done, that. <laughs> I've done that a few times in my life. But, um, I just did it. The, the book I'm writing now, the one before then, it, it got 15,000 words. And I just went, no, nah, no, nah, rubbish. Deleted it. Delete. I was thinking to myself, what hasn't been done? in terms of, of prison novels, because I, I, I wanted to write another prison novel. I hadn't had enough of a taste of prisons you know, when I wrote about them in Hush Hush. So I wanted to devote, just get this whole prison thing out of my system, you know? Um, and so uh, I thought I'm gonna write my big, my big breakout novel uh, and, and, and he, cause I, I, I love those types of films when I was a kid, The Great Escape, Escape from Alcatraz, um, and um, the, the Fugitive, The Fugitive was, I must have seen The Fugitive 50 times or more, you know, uh, it was just one of those things we put on as a kid. And it's so enjoyable because you're on both sides. You're on Tommy Lee Jones's side and you're on Harrison Ford's side. So the forward momentum, you're like, ah, oh, keep, keep chasing him. You almost got him. Ah, oh, quick, get away. He's, he's almost got you, you know. Um, so I love that. I wanted to do that. And I, I just, I just thought to myself, what hasn't been done? And I thought a bunch of guys has been done in, in, in sort of prison break, the TV series and people enjoyed that a bunch of women hasn't really been done or, or, or just even a couple of women. I haven't seen that, but I'd just written gathering dark is full of women. Um, so I wanted to have a break from the ladies, the lady centric novel. 
And so, yeah, I just, I just thought to myself, what if everyone gets out, you know? I just take it to the extreme, take it all the way to the extreme. What if everyone gets out? I was so eager to get them out that I had them all out in the original drafts. I had them all out within like five pages. And my publisher read it and she said to me, the deliciousness of knowing that they're all going to bust out, you got to let us linger in that for longer because people are going to look at the title, they're going to look at the cover and the blurb and they're going to say, okay, a bunch of people escape. So let us sit in the, you know, one of the, when you're, when you're watching a zombie film, one of the best things is about the pre, you know, that there's going to be a horde of zombies come, but everyone's sitting calmly in a restaurant and it's like, you know, you know, because it's a zombie film, you know, they're coming. So I want, I wanted pre zombie time in a prison sense. Um, uh, so I, I extended it out and extended it out uh um for longer uh what did i enjoy about it i enjoyed the um the diversity of all of the criminals because i i wanted to write about con men for a while and i love writing about serial killers and i wanted to drop a terrorist in there and 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 you get everyone and that's logistically difficult because i wanted to have minimum medium and maximum type inmates and death row which doesn't really happen in a facility in the US. Um, and I wanted to have both state and federal type inmates escaping. So I had to have this experimental facility called Pronghorn um, to, be, to be at the center of it. Uh, so there's a lot of, you think to yourself, you watch Con Air and it's like, how did, how did that happen? How did all of those <laughs> inmates get on that plane at the same time you know but it's like just go with it just go with it okay we're having fun here you know I'm doing another book with James Patterson but I can't say what it's about um I would like to uh if I if, if I was going to write in another genre if I ever have time to write in another genre I would like to write an end of the world type thing with zombies and and or aliens or something because I love that moment where there is a restaurant full of people and certain people have power and certain people don't. This guy's really rich. This guy's really educated. This homeless guy outside, you know, that there, there are power things in society. And then the zombies come and it's like, who's got a knife because or, or whatever, or who's closest to the door, like all of the power. Uh, it doesn't matter how much money you've got in your bank account, the zombies are coming. And, and I love those moments as well in, in, in the, where the tsunami is coming and there's an old lady who falls over and you can, you can get inside where it's safe or you can go and help her and you have a few seconds to decide, are you a good person? Are you a bad person? What does that mean? All, the, all those moral questions that come with the end of the world scenario. So uh, I'd, I'd love to write that. That would be good. I wrote a, um, a horror film uh, screenplay uh, just experimenting outside my genre, just having fun. And I've never written a screenplay before. And I was having a lot of fun with that. And I showed it to an agent and they hated it. <laughs> they hated it so much. So, um, you know, but I... I I love horror films and I haven't been scared in many, many years by a horror film.